It's sword prepper here. People, warriors, get out of the cities. I hear people all the time saying, the cities are bad, but it's the only place I can live. The cities are bad, but it's the only place I can keep a job. I'll tell you why you can't keep a job in the city. Because if you're a warrior like us, if you're a warrior like me, if you're a prepper at all, a hardcore prepper, a real someone whose mind is really made up, okay, you're gonna be, you're gonna do this, then you're not going to thrive in the city. You're not going to make it in the city. You're in the wrong place. Get out of the city. The time has come. I'll tell you right now, I'll tell you like it is. You don't have much time left. You don't have much resources left. I would encourage everyone who is serious about living after everything has gone down, who is serious about thriving and, and being a part of the world as it will be, I encourage you all, leave the cities. I'll tell you this right now, I'll tell you this. If you're prepping and you live in the city, if you're a prepper and you live in the city and you're prepping, you've got your, you've got your stores, you've got your pantry filled with non-perishables, you've got your freeze-dried foods stocked up to the brim, your garden's going, water, you got everything, everything's up. But you're in the city, I'll tell you right now, you're in a worse position than if you were a non-prepper in the country. Because all you're doing is telling everyone around you, I'm free game. All you're doing is making yourself a target. I'm not talking about people coming in and taking things from you here and there. No. You're making yourself a target, a major target. Say Walmart goes down, the gas stations go down, your local, your local grocery stores go down. Everyone around you who knows anything about you is going to see you as Walmart. They're going to see you as their local grocery store. So, they're not going to come and ask you for something. When they're hungry, when they're starving, they see their children becoming skinny, anorexic, no food on the table. They won't ask questions. They won't ask politely. They won't try to buy anything from you, no. They will come, and they will come to take what you have. They will come because you have what they want, you have what they need. All because you tried to prep in the city. Warriors, the city is not the place to be a prepper. The city is not the place to try and stock up food. You're not doing yourself, anyone around you, any favors. You're putting yourself in danger. If you have family, you're putting them in danger. You're making yourself a target. Like I said, I hear people all the time talking about, oh, yeah, I'm a prepper. I have this, I have that. I'm in the city, so if anything goes down, I'm close to gas stations, I can just fill up and leave, take all my stuff. Not a good idea. And that's not the way it's going to go down. As soon as things go down, if we had a major catastrophe, let's just say a tornado came through. You want to prep for a tornado? Fine. You'll have your stuff. You'll get through a tornado. Anything worse than a tornado, you're going to be a target and you're going to be a main target. Everyone from around the block, everyone near in any near vicinity is going to single you out. So get out the cities, folks. It's not the place to be. You're dooming yourself. You're making yourself a major target. You're making yourself... You're making yourself the Walmart. And let me tell you something. When catastrophes happen, you can see, go watch it on YouTube right now. Look up videos of it right now. When things go down, when things get bad, people don't buy stuff from Walmart. They take it. They don't ask questions. 
They don't care if you're in the way, they'll trample you, but they take what they want, they take what they need. You are making yourself a target. One last time, leave the cities. Do not try to prep and become someone that will, will stay in the city as a prepper when things go down. It's not going to work. You will be taken and you will be... <sighs> I don't want to say it, but you will likely be killed. Because you're going to try and protect what you have. And as soon as you protect, try and protect what you, what you worked for, what you have as a prepper, they will kill you. Because their life is more important than yours. That's how humans are. That's how we think. Their life is more important than yours. They won't ask questions. They will take, and you will die. Long and the short of it. All right, warriors. Till next time. Stay out of the heat. Stay prepping. Stay fit. Stay strong. Till next time. <laughs>